Hi. So how are you all? We are so excited to see you. Yeah, also I'm so excited, but I'm so sorry because of the time difference. So yeah, but we make it, so we are here. So how are you doing on your side? Well, we are all stoked because we thought we were just gonna get to talk to you. And then when Leslie said you were bringing us out to meet the rhinos, you should have seen the excitement ripple through all our faces. You're like literally making our year. So thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So the girls, they are not far, they are just behind me. Yeah, and so I'm gonna be able to be talking more about them and how it became to be just only two of them. So I hope each and everyone online so I can be able maybe to start. Yes, go ahead. We're we're all here, so we're we're ready with for anything you want to share with us. And then we have oh, okay. okay, yeah. So Actually, my name is Joseph, and I work here in Olpajeta. Sorry, I think the network is not nice on my side. Can you hear me over there? Yep, we can hear okay. you. We see you and okay. hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, today I'm using my phone because uh, it was a little bit difficult for me to fix my camera and all the things because I'm still a bushman, so. But the good thing I'm here, so I'm gonna be able to start right away. So, and also I'm gonna be able to turn the camera on the rhinos. So when I'm gonna be able to talk and then you're gonna be able to see the rhinos behind me. So you're gonna be able to keep hearing my voice but you're gonna be able to continue seeing the rhinos. And I'm so excited, sorry. <laughs> so. So actually, the way you can be able to see three rhinos behind. So the two close together on the right. So those are the two northern white rhino. And the one, which one is stepping a little bit aside, that is the southern white rhino. So the, new, the two northern white rhino, actually there were four of them when they were being brought over here, but the two of them, they have passed away the two male, so one of them passed away in 2014 and the other male died in 2018, which one was called Sudan. And he was the only last male of his own kind. And for now, we are only remaining with the two female, which one is Fatu and Najin. And Fatu is this one you can be able to see over here. And Fatu is the young one and Najin is that one, which one you can be able to see it over there. And Najin is the mother. So Fatu is the daughter. So the two of them, they are related because of the mother and the daughter. And the one, which one you can be able to see it over there, that is the Southern White Rhino. And the reason why there are three of them together is because when the Northern White Rhino, when they came from a zoo, they were used to be fed, like carlos, bananas, bread, apples, Carlot, all those things. But when they came inside here, we thought it's gonna be too expensive to keep buying some stuff for them. So that was the reason why we decided to put them with the Southern White Rhino. Because the Southern White Rhino, it play a big part to be able to teach them how to become natural rhinos. Because the two of them, like which one you can be able to see over here, those what they were being born in a zoo. And maybe I can be able maybe to go back a little bit and so I can be able to explain where did they come from and why we came to be only having two of them. So I'm gonna be able to go back in 1975 where, or in 1960, 1960s, where we were having the Northern White Rhino more than 2000 left in the whole world. And Pacific, the Northern White Rhino, they were originally from Africa, places as Congo, Sudan, Chad, in those Pacific countries of 
Central Africa. And because of the souvenirs war and gorillas fight, so these animals, they end up to be killed a lot and a lot and a lot because the rebels, they were killing them because of their horns. And wherever they get their horns, they were keeping selling them. And then the money, which one they were getting, it was coming back to support the rebels. So that is the reason why they end up to be killed a lot and a lot. Finally. And you know, in 1975 is where there was a, a few people from the zoo, from the Czech Republic, which one they came with a solution of trying to take some few rhinos all the way back to their zoos, to their Czech. And is where they make a deal with the government, like we're gonna be able to give you the guns so you can be able to continue fighting with the rebels. And also as we are gonna be able to give the rhinos so we can be able to go with those rhinos to the zoo. And that is where the agreement came, like we're gonna be able to avoid you with the guns. And also you're gonna be able to give us some rhinos. And that is how Sudan was being captured in South Sudan and taken all the way to the zoo. That when it was only two years old. And when they went in the zoo, because the climate was not that the same as Africa, in the zoo, the climate was so different. So the rhinos, they did not be able to breed a lot, actually, because it was not their normal. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They are so beautiful. Sorry, can you hear me over there? Sorry, I don't know what happened. So I think I lost you for a moment. We, we hear you, see you. Yeah. Okay, so were you hearing me? All the things I was saying, sorry, inside here is a bush. So sometimes the network is not that very good. You're doing great, we hear you. Yep. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So th they took few of their rhinos all the way to the zoo as one way of trying to save them. And then the climate was not so nice for them in the zoo. So they did not be able to manage to breed a lot. And also in the year in 2004 is where they came to realize there were just only a few rhinos, which one they were being left in those Pacific countries because of the souvenirs fighters. And like in a place they were been, been living in a place like Congo, in National Goroa Park. And they were about 13 of the Northern White Rhino. And 13 of them, they were being killed in one night because the rebel they attack that conservancy and then they killed all the rhinos, which one they were inside there. So since in the year 2005, so they were been working hard to be able to go back to those Pacific countries to be able to see if there were some more rhinos. So since 2005 and 2008 is where they came to realize there were just not any rhinos, which one they were being left oh, in uh, those countries. Don't talk. Rhinos, rhinos are in. Go ahead, Jeff. Two... Okay. And in the year 2008 is where they came to announce the Northern White Rhino, there were just only eight of them left in the whole world. So. In 2009, they sit down and then they say, what about maybe we can be able to take these rhinos back to their own climate? Because in the year 2008 is where they came to say there were just only eight of them left in the whole world. And those eight of them, so six of them, they were staying in the Czech Republic on the zoo. And also the two of them also, they were staying in the 
America in San Diego Zoo in America. So they decided to brought three of them back here in Africa in 2009, 20th of December. And it was an agreement to bring them back over here so they can be able to breed by their national climate. So they decided to bring four of them. And when they were bringing four of them, you know, each and every country wanted these rhinos to be on their own countries. But because Kenya has been known as to be taking care of the rhinos and breeding very well. And you know, like here in Kenya, all animals belong to the government. But if you go in a place like in South Africa, all animals belong in people individual. So, and you get in South Africa, there is a lot of washing, which one is going on? Because, you know, in South Africa and here in Kenya, in here, Kenya is, we are so serious about taking care of these animals because, you know, if any rhino get to be pushed, that report go always, all the time at president. So he always like to know what happened and why people they were, they were not doing their work. So in this idea, we are a little bit ahead. And that is the reason why you get the animals here, they are breeding very well. Yeah. And that is the reason why they decided to bring few of the rhinos here, because they thought if they're going to be able to take their national climate, like in the places where they were used to be, like in those places like Sudan, Congo, Chad, they're 